are now tuned in to the Free Play Media Podcast Network. We are live. It's Chris Dem and I'm solo today. Travis hates rock music, so he has left for the day. Our friends and future thieves are back. They're finishing up their tour. We're pumped to have them in. Guys, good to see you. Fuck, say who's Hello. here. Let everybody know, man. What's up? Who's this? I'm Nick. I play bass in the band. I'm Austin. I play guitar. I'm Elliot. I sing and play guitar and synth. Uh, Gianni Huntley drums. Great to see you guys again, man. Lou Fest, the last time we chatted, we were all uh, a little more tan. My beard was fuller. Yeah. I feel like less of a man in front of you guys now. But it's awesome to have you back. How was the show at Off Broadway last night? It's like one of my favorite venues. It was great. We didn't know what to expect, but uh, when we got there, there was a bunch of free sales and ended up being quite a few people there. And it, was, it was a good time. It sounds so good in there. Too. It does, too. And especially, you know, because in St. Louis, Missouri, Sunday night is when you party. <laughs> people got after it a little bit you guys had a fun night i don't know if you guys have uh anybody that you get you in trouble but we any pissing off balconies after the show anything like that just a wild guess okay yes it was, it was a standard sunday standard rock guy sunday okay yeah so it was a good time afterwards though you guys partied a little bit yeah the whole town knows. He was watching us right. all night. Oh, it was in the it was in the paper this morning. Yeah. 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 That. There's CCTV footage of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love. So this is the end of a. How long was the tour, guys? It was five days. Yeah, five days. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Pretty rough one. If you get after it the way I assume you get after it, what do you yeah. what do you think? Yeah, you well, guys have particularly rough. Yeah. yeah, we packed it in with. Uh, a bunch of media and so every morning we were doing tv and then you know we, we played through a few of like our hometown cities so we saw a lot of friends and stayed with my mom a couple nights and like so she appreciate that oh yeah she was, it was great it she was cooked great. for you guys no she she listed off about 300 items in the fridge when we got there but oh that's she perfect didn't do any yeah. Cooking. yeah so okay so where were uh where are the hometown dates i know we talked about lexington Lexington was a lot of fun. What do you guys uh, yeah, around there? Yeah, kind of yeah, where from Elliot's from. An hour and a half from there. I was mm-hmm. just there a week ago for the first time. I was really impressed by it, man. It, it was a cool city. Yeah, I, uh, I I saw a comedy show and we actually saw a little bit of Lexington. And I was like, holy shit! There's a castle. Like, yeah. is that in yeah. Lexington proper? Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's Versailles. Right by Doe Daddy's, the uh, donut gas station. Yeah, yeah. Yes. With delicious donuts, yeah. Yeah, we got to actually see a little bit of Lexington, too. We, we, a lot of us haven't been there in a long time. And That's a problem. It's like, charming down in their little it is, uh, yeah. divisions, yeah. And it's, it's funny, too, because you've got the horse racing thing with them and the college and hospitals and all that stuff going on in Lexington. So it's absolutely a good time. I'm trying to think of something funny I saw. A, everybody was super nice. What's a pizza place you go get hammered and drink at, at the or eat at at the end of Grey the night? Grey Goose. Is that what Did it's you go called? To Grey Goose? That's where we went. We, had, we had, it was a bar with pizza. Was it okay? Yeah. They yeah they sent us somewhere, but okay. I always crack up because people in Missouri probably give Kentucky and Arkansas crap and all that stuff, and then people in Kentucky probably keep the same things. But you actually run into a lot of like chicken farmers and stuff. Like, yeah, that's what I do, man. I'm a, I'm a Kentucky <laughs> chicken farmer. And it's like seems stereotypical, but yeah, right. Awesome. Do you guys run into any uh, St. Louis uh, robbers or murderers? Like, uh, that's kind of uh, what we have. When here. we left the venue, they told us to uh, loop around the block a couple times, make sure we weren't being followed when we got out of the yeah, venue. Because the they said sometimes people watch like the gear get put into the trailer and they tail you out of it. How does that happen in 2018, by the way? Like, it's a thing in St. Louis it where sucks. bands come through, and it's always like up and coming bands that it. Fucks their world up. Yeah. I think there's a special place in hell for people that do that to right to poor musicians. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, it's like, oh yeah, we're weather torn and yeah. been out on the road. Let's just change our lives that, horribly. All, all we have yeah. is that gear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they just, I mean, nine times out of ten they get caught because they try to sell it. And I mean, we've got pictures of all the serial numbers on it every sing- and every scratch that's on all of our. Yeah, stuff, I was gonna so say. We'll find it. Like, do, do bass guitars that have future thieves carved into them have a high resale value? I mean, that seems like it could go 
wrong in a bunch of different ways. So you guys are based out of Nashville. I remember that. And then what other cities did you hit on this group? It seems like you guys are doing it the right way, whether it's comedy or music. I see if you tour hard and you're decent enough people and you have some good people behind you, you can build up a really nice fan base through those those shows that kind of make people just not necessarily obsessed, but they kind of jump on your team, right? Like yeah. That's what it feels well, like. Well, last night was really cool because this was the first time we ever played a club show here. Right, yeah, uh, yeah. The only other time we played was Loot Fest. So all these yeah. people that were here lot, there last night, that was their first time really getting to see the full like package of us playing. Right. Other than like sharing the stage with somebody huge. Yeah. So it was, uh, it was really cool. And... Um, well, I believe Snoop opened for you guys. At, at, uh, yeah, I would tell people that. He did on this tour as well. Okay, yeah. good for you. That's, That's nice. Just, yeah, same difference. We we opened for Weezer at, at Weezer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Remember Warren G at uh, South by Southwest? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he technically opened for us. Yeah. <laughs> That's morning, perfect. Was, the stage was probably about as big as this room. Yeah. And then him and this really shitty DJ were playing, and it's like, my my favorite thing of Snoop at Lou Fest was he came out and like talked a couple lines and played a Carrie, Katy Perry track, just looped it, and they did that California Girls song. So wow. that could be in your future. Maybe you guys have something that yeah we're open to it. Uh, we were gonna have you guys play some songs. Are you guys down to do a few uh, while we're here? Let's knock one out and then we'll talk a little more and close it out with that. Hey, can I get a can I get a couple strums while I do a live read? Can I do that? I'll do an advertisement. Guys, barrel beer. What do you got? Some. Uh, it's a beard oil. And it's uh, it's an artisanal product. Okay. Okay, we got a nice beat going. I'll just start it off. Feel Do what you feel. Barrel Beard and Tattoo Oil. Check them out. Barrelbeardandtattoo.com. That's right. Jeremy Allen Stanton. It's based right here in St. Louis. Created and distilled in whiskey barrels in downtown St. Louis. We're going to hook up the guys. Uh, we're going to give them one bottle to split between the 12 of them that are here. Uh, Barrelbeardandtattoo.com, great sponsor of ours here. It was perfect. See? Yeah. Let's send that. Uh, so what song are we going to hear? This is called Drive.
Beautiful, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. That's always like you're, you're three feet from this. I'm like, I know you guys hear this all the time when you're out on the road and you're used to these songs, but it's so goddamn cool to see that and just the synergy that you guys have. It's always fun to watch you play. So absolutely great. Nick, I had a question if uh, if I'm I'm going to get mad if I forget to ask you this. Mm-hmm. How was playing for Simple before Simple Plan at, uh, what was it, Purdue. at a college? At Purdue. Oh, yeah. That's right. You went to Purdue. Yeah. Yes. Did you play with Simple Plan and how did the show yeah, go? Yeah, so that was, me and Austin both went, went to Purdue there. Yeah. And we've so, both seen shows in this little amphitheater. Right. And like, it's a big hill at the at the uh, north end of the campus there, and you know, I used to skateboard on it. Yeah, and we to simple plan. Bust my ass, probably. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. That was great. It was a huge crowd, and it's really fun. You should explore it's what you were just doing there. I mean, you have a guitar in your hand. I mean, if you want to do some simple plan for us, nobody's gonna get mad. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's next for the time. video interview yeah, next, next time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a good time. Absolutely, yeah. And they were they were nice dudes. And I mean, those Canadians, pros, so they can't so. be too bad. Yeah, they were uh, Canadian. Yeah, I was gonna say, Jackson's one of your blue. dudes is from or one of you guys from Canada. Yeah, what part? Toronto. Toronto. Okay, that's yeah. different because you're a little more metropolitan, maybe than some. Yeah, I do a show with a guy from Vancouver, British, or not Vancouver, just Terrace, BC, which is like. Super way out yeah. there, up in the north. But like, I I've yet to meet too many dicks that are Canadian. Yeah, right? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure it happens. I'm always yeah. like, oh, you're from like uh, Illinois or Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> they were playing in Nashville a few a month or so after that, and then they're like giving us their phone numbers, to, like hang out. Back That's here. so nice. Yeah. Isn't that weird too? Very and how cool. many people would kind of be like, ugh, simple plan? It's like those right. fuckers have made more money in oh, one year yeah. than you yeah. ever will in your life. But so they're still good dudes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Well, yeah, they played yeah. the hits. It was a throwback for sure. Oh, God, yeah. I used to have a couple of the records. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody, tap their toes at least. Oh, they, yeah. they got some hits, man. They, they, What's they've it? done well. Does that matter to you guys, like Image or something like that? I mean, if you're going to play a show like that, I mean, you see some bands in an indie scene that would not even take that show when in reality it's like you're going to miss out on yeah, that kind of crowd, yeah. you know? They, they don't take it, so we will. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> send it future thieves way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's honestly, the way to be. It, it never really throws us off who's playing with us or anything like that. I mean, music's music. I, I know a lot of tours get booked based on people being of of like sound, but sure. it's like it really people doesn't matter think, to us. People that like it like it. Yeah, absolutely. Like Outside of just something that brings a bunch of people out and they have fun with, what's uh, what's a perfect tour for you all right now? Where you're at? Oof. Uh, do you want to head? I mean, does it matter if you is, no, if it's a huge would, show? I mean, to, we would love to go out with like a band and just open for them. For yeah, a, a good a, a good support slot would be would be fun. Yeah. I mean, we'd Built-in have a blast. Would be killer. That it, that is nice too because you get to play that. But then you also run the thing of like, okay, they could also be assholes, and they're here to they're here to see Ario Speedwagon, yeah. who I would put <laughs> you on tour with, right? Yeah. Right. So I guess you kind of run that uh, well, that I mean, risk. We've, but we've done those kinds of shows like the Simple Plan and the Maroon Five and the. Jude and the Lion, we played with them, and I wouldn't say our stuff is really similar to them, but all, all their fans liked our stuff. Yeah. You know? Right. So it's it's more so just like a having fun, like a universal uh, party. Yeah, yeah. Instead that's of worrying about what the music sounds like too much. Yeah. And this yeah. this tour has been great too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what were you saying, Nick? Well, if you're saying what, what would the ideal tour be? I mean, it's it's nice coming back through some cities that we've played before and coming to St. Louis where we've you know only just had the one festival date and just seeing people come out. I mean, that's that's pretty ideal for us to just watch it grow. Yeah, Absolutely, this tour has been ideal. it's been a really good tour. Next time through, I mean, you could potentially have somebody that's seen you three times that never heard of you prior to Lufa. Oh, too. absolutely, yeah, yeah, which is just crazy. Yeah, to think about that, people want to come out and see us. So, I mean, how far do you guys want to take this? As far as it goes, <laughs> that's right, brother. <laughs> you know, Two eleven. <laughs> the ultimate, the ultimate goal is to, you know, the play arenas and you know, be able to make a difference. And you, you don't know, have to lie. Have you don't want to make to a do difference. You just, you just want to. Excuse me. They were playing all kinds of music on the radio, on the boat. Yeah. And I thought to myself. You know, you can try to be as popular as you want to be in Nashville and whatever, blah blah blah. It'd be nice to play music all play, play our music all over the world. Yeah. But that insane too, especially like growing up. I don't know if you guys have wanted to do this since you could walk, but the fact that like I'm sitting here talking to some cool guys and they're playing music, like technically I get paid for this. Like that's <laughs> crazy to me. In Good those job. instances, I bet 
at the same time, that happens with you guys too. I mean, in in the fact that you can potentially grow it to something where you could have a you could take care of several generations of your sure. family. Yeah, yeah, that's so crazy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, Future Thieves, you're ending this uh, five day run. What's uh, what's coming up tour wise? What do we need to? We've got a few dates in March. Uh, we've got one in Nashville that we're really excited about with some uh, buddies of ours in a band called Elliot Root, and. Um, they're doing two nights at a really good club in Nashville. We're going to play one of those with them. And then we've got three shows, Chattanooga, Muscle Shoals, and Charlotte at the end of March. I hear but Charlotte's a hell of a good time. Charlotte is really yeah. cool, man. Yeah. yeah. We really love good it there. Couple, yeah. I bet I could see them being really into you guys for sure. Yeah. Any cities we need to check out that you guys have been to that just blew your mind? I mean, you just told me about a sailboat in Spain. So, I mean, that's kind of... <laughs> Europe, yeah. Europe, was, Europe was great. Yeah. <laughs> All of you uh, kind of get a little glimmer, a little little shine in your eye when you talk about Europe. Uh, being an American rock band touring in Europe has some perks. Oh, yeah. It was fun. It was there were a couple awesome. festivals that were just <laughs> people were just so into the music, yeah. and it yeah. was just an absolute blast yeah, being over there. Passionate about, about stuff different, you know, in different ways. And you probably don't even have to church up your thing. You don't have to tell them you were on Total Request Live or something no, like that. You're just, they just hear rock oh, sure. stars yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's so great. Band, they rap, they were treat you, treat you well, super appreciative. Like, yeah, it was amazing. They realized the reason, like, hell yeah, if we buy this button, it's not because we're just buying it. It's like they no, need yeah. gas yeah. to, yeah. to well, keep right. moving through. Yeah. You guys get along okay on the road? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. do, man. We're, we're very fortunate to be able to do it every single day, and nobody really steps on any toes or... Yeah. Yeah, there's no like weird energy no. about you guys. Everybody's loose. You're there's talking a weird about smell in the van right now, though. That we're, that's, we're to I kind of chatted about with Nick about that, yeah, and I was I worried about you guys it's not a little great. bit. There's it's a rogue great. sock or something. That's oh, really hurt right. it smells like a dead buffalo in the <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Canada over there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. That uh. <laughs> that doesn't smell like cat piss in them or something yeah, like that. Exactly. Uh, first thing you guys are going to do before we get out of here, what, uh, what's the first thing you're going to do whenever you get home to Nashville? Just sleep? The, the Bachelor's on tonight. So. The Bachelor is on yeah. tonight. We're watch Good the for you. You need, to get, you need to get some of your mu- music on The Bachelor. Those things yeah, pay all right. We should, yeah, yeah we, want, we want Austin just to be The Bachelor. What? Yes. Will you Can wear we that? Ha- to- Let's make sure. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tweet them. Yeah. Like, we, we, we make enough know. noise. We can make yeah, it happen. Right. Yeah. You get to do that. Uh, well, I don't want to keep you guys too long. Again, thank you so much for coming by. I know you guys have been on the road, so thanks you got to get back. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having uh, What are we going to hear to close it out? Uh, we're going to play Sucker. Sucker. All right, let's hear it, guys.
Fantastic. We even had a we had a little chuckle in, in between too. I started to make me laugh too. Guys, safe travels home. Absolutely really appreciate you coming Thanks. by. Thanks for having us. That's man. it, guys. Check out Future Thieves online. I'll tweet out and uh, Instagram and bother bother these guys online for the uh, the next couple days. So be sure to support them when they're on the road. Spotify, what else? Website, all yeah, that good Apple stuff. Music, iTunes. So easy to find them, yeah. guys. Great music. Thank you guys again. <laughs> Thank all right, you. We'll see you later. Thank you so much. We are live, 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 we are live, live.